Hi guys, Gogol One here. We are going to be unboxing my new Deadpool figure from Hot Toys. He just arrived about 10 minutes ago. Had a bit of a problem with UPS yesterday, so it should have arrived yesterday, but you know how UPS can be. Anyone who buys from Hot Toys and end up dealing with UPS normally have more problems than the people who prefer FedEx. I don't know if I can get FedEx. Um, I'm in the UK, so I don't know. But anyway, let's just unbox him and have a look. Probably going to see me in the actual video sometimes. Sorry. We pop him open. We get the normal shipping box as per usual. Let's pull this open. Move that over to the side. And then we get the Deadpool box in his plastic bag. Let's go down here. Take open the plastic. Fuck out of here. And there we go. We have the Deadpool box. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Be loads of people take too much time on these boxes. Here's Deadpool. This is the slip sleeve. It's got a nice design on the front. It's got some bullet holes cut into it to make it look like Deadpool's had a go on it. Which is quite a nice box. There's the side, you can pause it. There's the side, there's the credits. There's the side. And that's about it, to be honest. Take the slip sleeve off, and we've got the figure inside. All right. I'm looking forward to this one. I have been for quite some time. I love the movie. It does have its flaws, plot-wise, but you know, every movie does. But um, yeah, I think the benefits of the film outweigh the negatives, or the positives outweigh the negatives for that film. Um, it's very enjoyable, Ryan Reynolds is brilliant, the direction is good. It's a shame we saw so much of it in the trailer, but that is how most movies are nowadays, to be honest. But uh, yeah, if I could, I'm looking forward to the sequel. New news has come out that it might be, I think, think is it, was it Tim Miller? was the original director and they say he's left now and we're going to get a new guy in to do it they're still in talks over who they're going to get to direct it but let's look forward to that here we go there's a the normal slip sleeve box sorry, slip sleeve there's the empty clamshell let's go around there you go let's not waste too much time on the box I hate people who waste too much time on the box. Unless it's like a DX figure where the box is sublime, I don't, I don't see the need. We all know what Hot Toys look like. We know they have clamshells, most of them. And this is what we have inside the box. We have a whole bunch of hands. Excuse the buzzing, I think you might have heard my phone buzz. That's just the way it is. Whole set of eyes. Ooh, they're going to be fun to take in and out, I bet. We have two katana swords. They feel quite metal. Yep, they're pretty nice. We have double pistols, because he likes to dual wield. Because he is a... Uh, I don't know, I'd, I'd say he's quite inspired by John Woo films or something. They've always got him double shooting guns. He's, he's, he's the excess of every sort of Marvel character you've ever seen. He's got more guns, more swords, you know, everything and anything. They throw the whole book in. He's got a nice little stabby stabby knife. What else do we have in here? He's got some throwing blades. Let me see if I can get one out, because they're quite fiddly to pull out. These little throwing blades, can you see that? Let's see if it can focus. Nope. Okay. Forgive it. I've only got one of those, like the cheapest Sony camera, which is about £120. So it's not amazing. But it does the job. Yeah. 
That's the sheath for his back for the swords. I believe that's magnetic on his back, so that will go on quite nicely. And then we have Deadpool himself. Let's take a look. Ta da! Get that. Uh, we've got plastic here. There's been a whole load of issues with this figure from what I've read online. Um, no, I say a whole load of issues. One issue, really. Somebody got um, their gun sheath taped on backwards. Or they got one of the uh, gun sheaths, I believe it was Dean Knight. He had his uh, on backwards. I'm hoping mine's not on backwards. It doesn't look to be, it looks okay. He also had wrist problems. The original run of Deadpool, not the sideshow where I got it from, the original run of Deadpool had issues with the wrist pegs being a little short. So the cuff of the hands were rubbing on the actual material of the suit and wearing it away. So people were having real problems with it. Especially as this is the kind of guy you want to pose a lot and because you want to pose him a lot it ends up being quite difficult to um, do that when every time you move his hands around the thing comes loose I'm nearly there guys again apologies I've not been well this week that's why I'm off work I'm a bit sick so I figure I'd do a video while I'm still awake and we will and this one I know what you're thinking, what are you doing moving a knife near this it's okay, I'm being very gentle which is why it's taking longer than usual Okay, very nice. He's a lot more weathered than I thought he would be actually, when you take a look at him. He is much more weathered. There's lots of dirt on there, I don't even know if it will show up in the video. But you can see, there's a lot more marks on the boots. And on the sleeves there's actually like a strong, stronger black wash than I thought there would be. Some of the videos I've seen, the, uh, the reds glow quite well in the pictures in the video. So it's very hard to see whether or not there is actually weathering. But there is. There's quite a lot of it. Which is nice because obviously in the film he runs around a lot and doesn't keep a clean suit very long. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll get him set up and then what we'll do is we'll come back and I'll show you a little bit more of him, okay? Okay, so here he is out of the box. Excuse the wires and the bits and bobs at the back. This is, um, still needs fixing up. But uh, as you can see, this is the best setup I can do for the moment to show him off. That's the Deadpool stand got magnets in his back so the swords can hold on and he's got this uh, metal pole that he can actually sort of hang on you can have him in jumping poses and things like that if you need to put him in any sort of um, dynamic action pose um, this is just a simple pose I've done quickly just to try and set him up so you can have a quick look at him um, all in all he's a very nice figure to be honest there's a few little flaws with him but there's, there's nothing really that I can truly complain about in the long run. Um, one of the issues I have is in that pose there, see if I can zoom in on it. Can you see the wrist? There is actually a, a gap between the wrist and the hand. So I'm not sure that's going to be a permanent pose for him because you can see quite clearly that it's a rubber hand on a plastic suit. But that is what they have done to try and rectify the problem where the rubbing was on the suit. 
that say Dean Knight and Clipper King and all those other reviewers had is the fact that hang on is the fact that their suits were being rubbed and being damaged by the wrists um, if you will go watch the Clipper King and Dean Knight's videos you'll see they come up with different solutions on how to try and help fix that problem if you do have one of the older versions of the figure and it starts to rub so give them guys a look uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for this guy I may enlarge the wrist cuffs a little bit with some hot water and a wooden spoon like Clipper King said um, I don't think I'm going to be using any resin to try and seal off the wrists so that the damage doesn't happen anymore um, I think Clipper King mentioned about the neck he said about the head and the neck so the neck's a little long. Um, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. It might be, but um, I'm not really seeing it. It's probably more obvious in the video, but I'm quite happy with his uh, neck length as it is at the moment. Although I tend to mess about with these things quite easily. Uh, yeah, the suit is like a pleather. Very nice, very weathered. Really well stitched to be honest, for such a small figure. I mean, 1-6 scale is very hard to make for clothing and they've done a really, really good job with the real subtle small stitching. And for a mass-produced product, I think Hot Toys do the best in terms of overall uh, quality. There are others, like Star Race and that, they, they're actually stronger in certain fields than others, like clothing and things like that, but um, yeah. Overall, Hot Toys seem to be the best bang for your buck, and the more co the most consistent. There is flaws, but this year alone, the clothing they have been doing or been churning out for their figures, like the Batman v Superman line, and this Deadpool have just been outstanding. Amazing details, amazing materials. They're really going out there to try and find the best for their uh, their figures. And I think they've really hit a home run with this one. This has been something I've been looking forward to for quite some time. And he's mostly going to be existing, well, everywhere to be honest. I'm going to put him in with all different figures. He's going to be the guy that moves around the shells and causes havoc. I'm going to put him in different poses. He's going to be sitting in people's chairs. He may cause... Heath Ledger's Joker, the DX11, a few problems. He's definitely been causing Sweeney Todd some issues. And he's more than likely going to be picking on the crow a lot. The head sculpt's amazing on this. The um, interchangeable eyes is something they pretty much ripped from the film, to be honest. I really like where Hot Toys is going with the head sculpts recently, but I think that's also down to the fact that when they do all these big special effects blockbusters movies they do head scans of all the actors and then if Hot Toys are able to have access to those head scans then they should really be really 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 good head sculpts because they're literally 3D printing a smaller version of the scanned head of the actor so it shouldn't be that hard but in terms of the suit mixing with the head sculpt it's actually really, really good. Um, I think there's so much tiny little patterns and details in the head that it's really hard to get on video exactly how good this is. I'll try. But as you can see, there's loads of detail. And there's even, with the head sculpt, there looks like there's stitching. But it's not. It's all sculpted but it looks like it's got stitches in it, which is amazing. And that pattern is great. And how it merges with the rest of the figure. Um, yeah, you're not, you're not gonna get a better, better Deadpool, not anytime soon anyway. But um, yeah, that's it really. That's my video. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Feel free to share yours and let everybody know how you're getting on with it. Thanks a lot guys. Bye.